Welcome to the Drain My Lawn channel, where our work reflects the God we serve. If you're in Charlotte, North Carolina, or the surrounding areas, and you're interested in seeing your project on our channel, give us a shout. Check us out on DrainMyLawn.com and see if we can help you out. We'll go ahead and get into this project. We have a uh, drainage problem where the water in this backyard behind this wall is building up behind the wall, and it's exiting right behind the wall right here and saturating this area and really bad storms it'll actually it'll just start flowing out of the ground almost like there's a pop-up or anything but it's just coming from the ground because it's building up behind the wall there is a an old French drain system back there and we think it's compromised uh, or clogged somewhere which is causing all the water back up and the water will seep out from underneath the wall sometime after rains so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, um, a burrito wrap French drain right through here about 11 feet of it uh, and uh, we'll show you what that looks like and we'll feed it with some capillaries and we'll go over that in here in a little bit and then we'll exit it all the way out into the woods all right we found where the old drainage system was and it looks like water has been coming out from underneath the ground here and creating caverns you can see here a few problems uh, one is that the this French drain that was installed behind this wall so you see it's not it's coming out from like a little higher up than that block um, it should be installed at the bottom of that wall in order to drain all the water up and prevent water from building up behind it additionally look how shallow this pipe is the dirt the sod is literally just laying right on top of it I mean the customer is gonna destroy that as soon as anything goes in the ground even on accident uh, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, fix this. We're gonna get all the water to go into our system, and we're gonna go um, have a 12 foot deep or 12 inch deep trench, and make sure that pipe really stays out of the way. Check this out. This looks like it was some kind of French drain system before. They used giant, beautiful stone. This is river rock. This is really nice stone, decorative stone. And you see all this water. It's actually sitting down here. Um, they did not burrito wrap their system and it's just completely filled with dirt. And that will happen with any French drain system that's not completely uh, wrapped in a non-woven geotextile filter fabric. You can see this, like, look, it doesn't matter. They, they, they used beautiful stone and uh, to try to create voids, I guess, is what they thought they were doing. And it just filled up with dirt and these rocks are just buried useless. Folks, this is exactly what's wrong with the reputation of French drains. When you think of a French drain not working, uh, it's because of this. What it is, um, this contractor put a bunch of just gravel in the ground uh, and it just filled up with, with muck. So you can see, look, we're digging and we're just, all this water just trapped underneath here. It's sludge, can't move, um, but we'll fix that. We'll show you how we're gonna do that. Look how much water is stuck behind or underneath this wall. It's just been built up there, nowhere to go. Where this water go? This drain will work very well. All right, now we've dug our trench for the French drain. We're gonna end it right about here uh, and exit it, transition it to a solid pipe. As you can see here, this is about a a one foot, in some cases a good bit deeper, and a one foot deep by about 10 inches to a foot wide trench. And there's no dirt around here, except the dirt in the trench, because we took it out and removed it. We're gonna fill it with rock. Now, uh, you see this rock, is we used bag rock for this project because accessibility was very limited and we had to cart things in with a wheelbarrow and keep the mess down so we're actually going to rinse this rock because it's very uh, has a lot of sand and dirt in it okay now this is something you may not be used to seeing especially if you've been looking online uh, how to do french drains so this is our main french drain right here it's going to handle the bulk of the water this is the most important part now sometimes you may have areas that do get saturated to get groundwater, but it's not a terrible amount, not uh, a whole lot, not the volume that you need to have a full French drain. So we use these little capillaries 
and we can essentially create a feeder French drain. It's essentially a mini French drain and it's all wrapped in geotextile filter fabric and uh, we're able to um, use less labor and less material and it's a it's a great tool to uh, inexpensively increase the effectiveness of your French drain uh, without having to extend you know this giant French drain all the way out in front of this wall. All right, we have our our uh, trench all clean, ready to go, and uh, you see we have the bottom nice and flat, so the water will run really well. Okay, so now we've um, we've laid our filter fabric in the trench. See, it's falling down a little bit there. We'll get that, but we've laid our filter fabric down. We've gotten our uh, perforated pipe in the trench uh, connected to our solid pipe. We use some uh, pipe tape and some tile tape just to keep it connected with the connector inside. Now, the French drain is actually gonna end right here. But you see we, we ran the perforated pipe a little bit past that. And that is gonna be uh, so that when we wrap this up, we're actually gonna zip tie this up down here to make sure roots and stuff don't grow up in here and keep all the sediment out. But also what that's gonna do is going to ensure that if um, that water doesn't build up in the French drain and not able to drain. So we're gonna go a little bit past the French drain with the perforated pipe, but wrap the whole thing in filter fabric and uh, zip tie it off so that way any water in the French drain will drain out. As you can see our, our rock here, uh, while it's good round rock, um, good size. It's covered, has a lot of dirt in it, and we have to get this dirt out, otherwise it can clog our French drain. So we're going to rinse it out and uh, clean it out. It's a little more extra work, but if you're going to do this yourself, especially, and you have your rock um, mixed with dirt, you really need to do what you can to get that dirt out. It's worth it. Check out the difference after cleaning. Uh, dumped it in the trench. It will clean up afterwards. This is our exit trench. This is not our French drain trench. That's our French drain trench, but got a lot of sediment out of there, and that'll serve our French drain very well. All right, we have our stone washed and in the trench. You can see we bring it all the way up to the top. Um, you'll see over here, we're gonna have to top dress it with some sand over the fabric so that we can get the grass the way we want to. Um, and then we come out here to the end of our French drain. with uh, the big rocks here just to hold back some of the, uh, the the small rocks as we're putting it in. Then we have our our exit line. All right, as you see here, we've got our, our rock, our stone, washed and in the, in the burrito wrap, and we're wrapping it up here, uh, pinning it really tight, cutting off any excess uh, fabric so we don't impede the water flow. And um, over here, we're actually gonna be installing another capillary. See this capillary here is basically a tiny um, one by six French drain. Uh, not made to carry a lot of volume of water. It's gonna take excess moisture uh, into the French drain, which ends right about right. All right, we're getting ready to finish up this project. I wanted to point out a few things. You can see here, we still have to bury this exit pipe. And uh, this was a little dry riverbed for decorative purposes um, that was already here, we replaced. This is gonna be, this was dry riverbed. Um, the customer's gonna go with sod there. Um, they're gonna do that another point because we don't have the specific kind of sod that they need. Now, I um, wanna point out something that may not be that obvious uh, if you're doing your own. With the French drains, you see how this is uphill over here, this is downhill? Well, pay attention to how you overlay your fabric, your filter fabric when you do this because you want to make sure that the uphill uh, side is overlapping on top of the downhill side. So as um, soil kind of migrates downhill, it doesn't go into this lip and start infiltrating your French drain. So uh, just keep that in mind, it's a little tip. Um, you see this little sand here, this is gonna be for smoothing out because we're gonna put sod back down and want the sod to root. The sand on top uh, is no problem, the water will go right through it. The roots of the grass will fill it up. Um, you don't want to put sand inside your drain. Just make sure it's on top if you're going to just smooth it out, and you're good to go. 
Now we've been running this this hose up here for about five minutes to show just what this can do. Before this whole area used to say absolutely saturated. Now it's not getting past that French drain. Uh, we have all this missing stuff because this is dead sod uh, that we need to get some more zoysia sod. It's Xeon zoysia sod, so we have to get that special ordered. But that's been running for about five five minutes. Not a lick of water over here. You see a little moisture on the top of the French drain over here because it's running from the surface. And we'll go check out where it's coming from. All right, now you can see over there's where we're running the water. This is where it comes out. There's our water just pouring out just as fast as it's going into the drain. Check that out. Now, you see here, um, we actually cover, we wrap the end of our uh, pipe in the same filter fabric we wrap the, the drain in. That way we can basically keep the whole thing sealed, keep animals out, and uh, sediment and everything, so that way the customer only has to take care of the end.